How to prove single status for marriage abroad. Please note that this video has written content that goes with it. The written content will give you access to downloadable assistance. For example, links to resources and recommended companies that can guide you. You can find the URL link in the comments section below. In order to get married overseas, you need to prove your single status. This page explains how. Proof single status in four steps. In Canada, proof of single status is called a statement in lieu of a certificate of non-impediment to marriage abroad. Yes, it's a mouthful, but there's a good reason for it. How do you apply for a statement in lieu of a certificate of non-impediment to marriage abroad? Provincial affidavits of single status or provincial marriage searches which have not been authenticated by the federal government are likely not acceptable in most foreign countries. You should apply for a statement in lieu of a certificate of non-impediment to marriage abroad from the federal government in Ottawa or get your single status declaration or provincial marriage search authenticated by the federal government. The advantage of a federal statement in lieu of a certificate of non-impediment to marriage abroad is that it's widely accepted in foreign countries. Community Forum Got a question about the complicated application process? Chances are good someone's already answered it. Check out our community forum on immigroup.com. There you'll find practical support and a network of helpful like-minded people. Step 1. Complete the authentication request form. In order to get your statement in lieu of a certificate of non-impediment to marriage abroad, you must submit an authentication of documents form with the appropriate section completed. The Federal Authentication of Documents form will not open in your browser, so please save it to your desktop and open it on your computer by right-clicking on the link. Step 2. Declare your marital status and residence in Canada in front of a notary. Because Canada does not produce certificates of non-impediment to marriage abroad, you must attest to your single status and residence in Canada. You must do this in front of a notary public who will notarize the declaration or affidavit. Free option. Download our free single status declaration template here. Cheap option. Recommended. Law Depot is a company that makes great legal templates and has been around for years. It's worth checking out their website to get this document made for you. They make it easy and it's very user friendly. The process is inexpensive and the end result looks very professional. Visit Law Depot to get started. Paid option. The last option is paying someone to draft one up for you. Here you can contact a local lawyer and they can put a document together for you. It may be worth asking a local notary public if they have an extra paid service to help you draft one up. Going to a lawyer can be costly. Tip. Keep this document to one page only. In some circumstances, if this letter needs to be authenticated at a diplomatic mission, it will end up costing you a lot more if your document is more than one page. For example, here at Immigroup, we do Cuban marriage documents, and an extra page can lead to a $300 extra cost incurred. The simplest thing to do is search in Google. Put in the following words, Near me, notary public, or notary public and type in your city. Immigroup Newsroom Why spend hours scouring the internet for how-to information that doesn't even answer your questions? We've gathered the do-it-yourself tutorials and step-by-step -step articles you need, plus detailed immigration application examples. It's all in our handy news section at immigroup.com. As you can see, you get a lot of choices to pick from. Just find one that's well-priced and relatively close to you, and fast.
You can expect to pay from 13 Canadian dollars to 30 Canadian dollars per document. Your local lawyer could charge up to 50 Canadian dollars and 75 Canadian dollars. The benefit here is that you will see prices and see what services the notary is offering. Very few notaries will do the letter for you, and most will only notarize and expect you to draft the letter yourself. Or you can find a notary by clicking on the link in our article. Tip. The cost of a notary depends on how remote the area you live in is, and if you have drafted your own declaration of single status, or the notary did. A simple notary can cost from 15 Canadian dollars to 75 Canadian dollars. And a letter can cost from 50 Canadian dollars to 300 Canadian dollars. The big variation in cost is typical in the legal industry. You can find a sample of a free download of a single status declaration template in our article. Step 3. Certified copies of your documents. In order to apply for a statement in lieu of statement of non-impediment to marriage abroad, you will have to provide certified copies of your proof of identity and single status. A certified copy is an official copy of your identity document, such as your birth certificate, usually issued by the office which would produce that document. Everyone needs a certified copy of their birth certificate, which you can get from your Provincial Vital Statistics Office or Registrar General. If you've been previously married, you will also need to provide a certified copy of your divorce certificate, if divorced, or your spouse's death certificate, if widowed. You can acquire the certified copy of the divorce or death certificate from the Provincial Vital Statistics Office or Registrar General. Often, you can apply for such certified copies online. Please visit our article page to access these links. Note, if you were not born in Canada, you will have to provide additional proof of identity, such as a certified copy of a Canadian passport, a Canadian citizenship certificate, a PR card. You need to do so because this is how the Canadian government will evaluate your single status. Paid help. Are you worried your application will get rejected because of an error? When you hire a specialist from our Immigroup network, you'll get an advocate who is knowledgeable, honest and reliable. Most of all, you'll get peace of mind. Contact us today and see why so many of our clients are with us for life. Step 4. Apply for the statement in lieu of a certificate of non-impediment to marriage abroad. 1. Fill out the appropriate section on the authentication request form. See Step 1. 2. Provide your notarized declaration from Step 2. 3. Submit extra documents from Step 3. 4. Mail your documents to Global Affairs Canada, Authentication Services Section, JLAC, 125 Sussex Drive, Ottawa, Ontario, K1A 0G2, Canada. Don't forget to include a self-addressed stamped envelope or prepaid courier way bill so that the statement in lieu of a certificate of non-impediment to marriage abroad can be returned to you. Tip. We here at Immigroup have contacts in Ottawa and would be happy to help you get this service done for you. Just call us at 1-866-760-2623 or email us at info at immigroup.com. If you have everything in order, please scan and email us your documents so we can have a quick review to ensure everything is in order. Otherwise, you can search online for a company in Ottawa to submit the documents for you. Just search Document Delivery in Ottawa. Remember, a lot of companies just deliver the application and take no responsibility if things are submitted incorrectly, and an extra cost will apply for re-delivery. Expected costs range from 75 Canadian dollars to 300 Canadian dollars. Call us at 1-866-760-2623 or 
962-2623 or email info at immigroup.com. Top Frequently Asked Questions, FAQs, about proving single status abroad. What is proof of single status? If you are marrying in a country in which you do not have citizenship or immigration status, you need to prove that you are single and eligible to marry. In order for this to happen, most countries require some kind of proof from your home country that you are single. Your country will issue a document that proves that you are single, to the best of their knowledge. This document goes by many different names throughout the world. Affidavit of Eligibility to Marry American States Affidavit of Intended Marriage Affidavit of Single Status Canadian Provinces Certificat de Contume France Certificate of Freedom to Marry Ireland Certificate of Legal Capacity to Marry UK Certificate of No Impediment Certificate of Non Impediment to Marriage Abroad Norway Certificate of Nola Osta, Italy. Free to marry certificate. Notice of intended marriage, Australia. Single status affidavit, American States. Single status letter, American States. Statutory declaration of single status. Statement in lieu of a certificate of non-impediment to marriage abroad. This is the name in Canada. The countries in brackets are the countries that issue the documents, not the countries that require them. Canada does not require proof of single status for marriage, and some countries, such as the UK, do not require Canadians to prove single status. Certificates are issued by the national governments to prove you are single. In countries where such certificates cannot be produced because, for example, marriages are handled locally or regionally, and there is no national database of marriages. You were instead asked to attest to your single status in front of a notary. Why is it called Statement in lieu of a Certificate of Non-Impediment to Marriage Abroad in Canada? Canada doesn't have a national marriage registry, and the federal government cannot produce certificates of non-impediment to marriage abroad for use abroad. Instead, they issue a statement in lieu of a certificate of non-impediment. You can tell the Government of Canada that you are single and they produce the official document stating that you are single and free to marry. Do you need a statement in lieu of a certificate of non-impediment to marriage abroad? If you are a Canadian citizen and you want to marry in a foreign country, you may need a single status document. In Canada, this document is awkwardly known as a statement in lieu of a certificate of non-impediment to marriage abroad. It is called that because Canada cannot issue certificates of non-impediment. Here is a list of countries where Canadians do not need this proof of single status. The United Kingdom. The United States. These documents will also need to be legalised by the consulate or embassy in Canada depending on the country you're travelling to to get married. In most cases, this will be done by an embassy in Ottawa. Tip. If you need more clarity or information on the required documents you will need when travelling to get married outside of Canada, please visit Immigroup's Marriage Abroad page here. Newsletter. The Canadian immigration industry is constantly changing. Don't miss important updates or changes in the law. Stay informed with Immigroup's Best in the Industry newsletter. We'll keep you current on all the latest updates. When in doubt, apply in Canada. Not all countries who require this document will accept it if issued by a Canadian embassy or consulate. So be sure to apply in Canada before you travel. What happens if you need to get everything done outside of Canada? It depends upon the country. Some countries will accept a Canadian statement in lieu of a certificate of non-impediment to marriage abroad, issued from a Canadian embassy, high commission or consulate in that country. 
However, many countries will accept statements in lieu of a certificate of non-impediment to marriage abroad, issued from Global Affairs in Ottawa. You can always contact Immigroup for someone to take care of the documents for you when you're outside of Canada. It's incredibly important that you know the rules for the country you plan to marry in before you get on the plane. If you are in a foreign country which doesn't accept locally issued statements in lieu of a certificate for non-impediment to marriage abroad, you will have to either fly back to Canada to get your statement in lieu, mail your application for your statement in lieu to Canada and have it mailed back to you in the foreign country, ensuring you have provided adequate return postage or an appropriate prepaid courier way bill. Or hire someone in Canada to do this for you. It's much easier to do this in Canada. When in doubt, always get the statement in lieu from Global Affairs in Ottawa before you get on the plane. After I get this done, I will do my family car sponsorship application. What should I know about this? Immigroup has a page with detailed information about the spousal sponsorship process. We also have pages about marrying abroad in many countries. These pages provide information about the requirements of the foreign country when you marry there. You should learn about the marriage process before you intend to fly there. Once you are married, you need the marriage certificate from the foreign country. It must be translated into either English or French if it is not already in either language. In order to sponsor your spouse, you will need to provide much more documentation than just the marriage certificate. Learn more about spousal sponsorship here. You do not need to register the certificate in Canada, nor do you have to authenticate it or legalize it for use in Canada. When you submit your marriage certificate, translate it if necessary to IRCC, they will check that the certificate is real at the local visa office. Troubleshooting. I am outside of Canada and I would like to find out what I have to do to get married. I am Canadian and my girlfriend is a Mexican citizen. Since you're already in Mexico, go to your local marriage registry and ask them what documents they need for you to get married as a foreigner. I am outside of Canada and I did not know that I was supposed to have these documents. Now the marriage ceremony is in jeopardy and may be cancelled. What should I do? You quickly need to hire a document delivery specialist in Ottawa to get these documents for you. They can go on your behalf and do all the running around and courier the documents to you. Just remember if your marriage is in a few days, it will probably not be possible. I live in Canada and I'm thinking of just bringing my partner to Canada and getting married here in Canada. Is this a good idea? This is hard to say. If your partner can get a visa, then it's possible, but your partner may be interrogated at the border and they could refuse her entry in Canada. It's a catch-22. You need to be honest, but your honesty could end the plans with your partner being asked to turn around and go home. Comments from our users. Agnes Chaitas. This helped out a lot as I couldn't get the proper information from anyone online, even Foreign Affairs Canada. It needs to be properly updated on their site so people won't need to scramble everywhere. So, I have my certified birth certificate, long form. Need to go to a notary or a commissioner of the oath for the declaration. And then, road trip to Ottawa. Javi Latin man Romano. I will get married in Romania next year but I was asked to bring the status of singleness that in Canada is called in lieu of certificate of non-impediment to marriage. I did the statement of declaration at a notary, putting my information and from my wife. Now I need to authenticate and finally submit again to get the certificate of non-impediment. OMG, it should be just one way, not like that. Cheryl Thompson. My boyfriend and I are planning to get married this September. He is Canadian and I'm Filipina. Does he need to get a lieu of non-impediment in Canada before he flies here or can he get that at the Canadian Embassy in Manila, Philippines? And how long before he can get that document? 
This video is also in written format. Did you know this video also has a written article with a lot more information that can help you get the answers you're looking for? Just check the video description below and follow the link to our full article about this topic.